Hello, I'm Dana Cowley in Olympia, Washington with Charter Local Edition Northwest. And today we're covering your elected state leaders during this year's legislative session. My guest today is the 12th District Representative, Carrie Condotta. Thank you for joining us. We That's appreciate great. it. Great to be here. Tell me about your thoughts about minimum wage. Some people would <laughs> like it to go up. Other people think this is the ruin of the economy. What's your thought? Well, we've got the highest minimum rate wage already in the United States. It's indexed. I think it's doing what it needs to do. And I think it's actually done a little damage being the highest. Uh, we have trouble with entry-level jobs. We have, um, you know, we have a high youth unemployment rate. We have uh, a lot of issues surrounding this 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 high minimum wage, and yet we want to raise it even higher. We're one of only three states that has an increasing poverty rate in the last few years. Only three states have seen poverty increase, and that's happening here, even with the highest minimum wage in the United States. So I think you know there's an economics factor. Anytime you raise the price of something, you're going to reduce the demand. That's just standard economics. I know people around here think they can avoid economics, but unfortunately, that's the way it really works. Well, I think there's so many different people we serve in this diverse state, and I do think that in the larger urban areas, to have a livable wage, people do need a higher minimum wage. But when you move into the more rural areas, I live in the Tri-Cities where the cost of living is relatively low, and so trying to serve all the people is difficult with kind of a one-stop shop idea. Well, yes, you're right. What fits Seattle doesn't necessarily work for Wenatchee, and Seattle has done what they did, and we'll see how that experiment works. But uh, Wenatchee is very agriculturally based. We have a lot of entry-level jobs. We have a lot of small restaurants and small retail, and it would be very very difficult for those folks to uh, absorb a, a 30 percent increase in wages, particularly in this state where you have a very high tax, um, the ta B and O tax is a very high tax on business. Business picks up about 52 percent of the total uh, general fund. Well, that, that's very high compared to other states. You add that to high payroll taxes and the highest minimum wage and you get a pretty tough cocktail for those uh, folks in small business. So um, it definitely creates problems for the small guys out in Wenatchee and out in the tourist areas too, where it's kind of seasonal to start with. And so what you're going to see is probably less jobs in each one of those entities. We know that the chain restaurants, as an example, have three less employees in Washington than they do in other states on average because of the higher minimum wage. So I didn't know that. that's a fact. So uh, you're going to see less jobs and less opportunity for young people. And I think that's my biggest concern. We have, we're in the top five in youth unemployment, and yet we have a robust economy here. We really do. Seattle and even the agricultural areas are doing well, but we still have a very high youth unemployment. I think that's directly attributable to the high minimum wage, and we're, we could make it worse. Well, I have two children in high school, and it is tougher and tougher for people to get part-time or even full-time jobs if they're wanting to work their way through college. That's correct, or even in my case, I trained kids. We brought them into the store at a low level and worked them up through, and uh, a lot of them ended up getting very good jobs, and uh, we can't do that anymore. We can't afford to bring somebody in and train them because the cost is getting too high. So those opportunities go away, and fortunately, it makes it tough on youngsters to get started, and if we don't get them into a business or job situation early, we've been proven statistically that uh, they have a much harder time as they get a little bit older. It really is a tough issue when so many people are struggling to try to get a family wage job. Yeah. Well, I don't want to get too deep on this, but I think if we solve some of our immigration issues, we might solve a lot of this too. We found out when we cut back on immigration in eastern Washington, the farm wages went up dramatically. It's not to say that we, we don't want those people here and we want them working, but when you control the source, you control the level of labor, um, wages do go up when there's demand. It works backwards, just like we talked about, supply and demand. When we saw a, a supply shortage, the wages went up dramatically. So maybe we need to look a little bit deeper at the bigger picture and say if we control the supply of labor, maybe it would take care of itself. Well, you represent Wenatchee, which is the apple capital of Washington. And that's that's and right. so could you expand on that just a little bit further about how you think that would be best balanced out? Well, again, it's, a, it's back to economics. When you have unlimited supply at one time, we had more workers than we had jobs, and they were coming up in big numbers, and, um, and the wages were pretty much minimum wage in the, in the packing sheds and in the orchards. Well, uh, as immigration became more of an issue and there was some tightening and some raids and a couple of our big places were raided, um, and folks were sent back home, when that uh, labor pool dried up, the wages went up pretty dramatically, $11, $12 an hour, and they really stayed higher, at least in the orchards, um, because of that, although we've had some supply back coming back now. But uh, that's a, a basic tenet. When you have less, uh, you have more jobs than workers, the wages are going to go up automatically, and I think that's been the problem across the United States, is we've had 
a lot of additional labor coming in and uh, it's really flooded the market to some extent and of course we had the downturn where we had less jobs and still a lot of people. So we've got some economics balancing to do and I'm just concerned with minimum wage uh, going up that we uh, are going to really reduce the demand for uh, spe specifically younger folks. Well, thank you for coming and sharing your thoughts and your works with us. We really appreciate you being here. For those watching, this is Gary Condotta representing the Wenatchee area. I'm Dana Cowley in Olympia, and this is Charter Local Edition Northwest.